the schools and uh, some of the best baseball you'll find anywhere. And those guys right there uh, defeated a real good team out of Selma Morgan Academy to bring home their second consecutive championship under Coach Allen Ponder. Some outstanding players and outstanding young men on top of that uh, fire truck this morning, uh, this afternoon. And they'll be coming in here in a moment and right here in front of all these uh, cheerleaders. And uh, here they come right here. Let's give them a big hand. The Patriots are in town. The Pike Liberal Arts Patriots, champions, back to back for the second year in a row, can call themselves state champions. And boy, what a program Coach Allen Ponder has put together here at Pike Liberal Arts School. And uh, here they come. The fight song, the Pike Liberal Arts fight song. Fight song. Okay, you got some great cheerleaders. I'm very impressed with your cheerleaders. Uh, thank you. They're a good group of girls. Yeah, they sure are. And I tell you what, they see it, how hard it is. To climb up on top of a fire truck, I'm telling you, I've done it before. And as Coach Allen Ponder has just walked in. And here's the baseball team right here. A couple of them forgot their hats. gentlemen, the Pike Liberal Arts Patriots, state champions for the second year in a row. Let's give them a big hand. Cheerleaders. Yeah. Liberal Arts uh, ended the season with a 27 and 11 record. They won a big uh, uh, semifinal tournament in Tuscaloosa a week before the championship game. They won both those games uh, behind great pitching and uh, timely hitting. And then uh, the big championship game. Now, ladies and gentlemen, our national anthem. Thank you. 
good afternoon. We are, uh, we're so excited to uh, celebrate another state championship. And, uh, we're, uh, we're glad everybody uh, came out today and we're, uh, we're especially excited to uh, you know, celebrate these young men again. Um, it's, uh, it's a special day. And um, it's uh, it's really special to me because I've watched uh, I've watched most of these guys uh, since T-ball and before, and uh, we're really proud of you. And we're not um, we're not just proud of you because you won a couple of ball games a week or so ago. Um, we're proud of you because of who you are and uh, how you represent your families and your school and this town and this community. It means a lot to us and. Uh, as successful as you've been on the on the baseball field, uh, you're going to be more, even more successful in life. And, uh, we're really excited about that. So I'm glad everybody's here. We're going to have a little fun and uh, uh, and honor these fine young men uh, in this great school. Uh, so at, at this time, I'm going to allow uh, a few people to speak. I know Miss Baker uh, with the city council is here. I see uh, Mr. Meeks uh, with the city council, but any of our city council members, uh, that would like to come up and, uh, and congratulate the team. We're going to do that. Uh, then Mr. Al Renfro uh, with the school board is uh, going to come up and say a few words. And then we're going to have uh, Mr. Burkett and, uh, and Coach Ponder in that order. So, Stephanie? Good afternoon. Um, yes, I'm here as a city council uh, person, woman. But more importantly, I'm here as a proud alum, and I'm so, so thrilled to be um, able to be here and to congratulate you. I think it was about this time last year we were doing this, and I said uh, to a slightly different team, but both of you guys, um, as long as you keep winning championships, we'll keep celebrating you. So um, you held up your end of the deal, and we are, we are so incredibly proud of you. We really are here not just celebrating, as Mary said, um, Wins, but really you as a team, and, and maybe most importantly, your story. Um, you prove to all of us what, um, what endurance really looks like, what showing up after you've been beaten and bruised in probably many different ways looks like, what um, following leaders looks like, sometimes even when um, coach might make some calls that we don't quite understand, but they, they obviously he knew what he was doing. Um, and, and you showed what it looks like to play with heart. That's kind of one of those cliches that we say a lot, you know, at the ballpark. Um, but you showed us what that looks like. And, um, thank you for making us proud. Thank you for, uh, as Mary said, just how you conduct yourself. Um, you guys are legends. There's going to be old guys in that coffee shop for years and years and years to come that's going to be talking about you guys. So congratulations. guys and, and the grandparents and parents and everything two in a row is sweet but three in a row is a lot better and one thing i will say it just it taught morgan 30 and 0 doesn't mean anything so congratulations Thank you guys for following uh, this team this entire season, uh, for giving the support that they needed. Um, obviously, it was a, a big deal to have uh, the crowd and, and the noise and everything else that was um, at Riverwalk Stadium. And uh, so, personally, I'm extremely proud of these guys. Um, and uh, like everybody else has said, not just because of what they can do on the baseball field, uh, but for the type of men that they are. Um, the way that they lead, um, the example that they set, and uh, for those of you guys that are graduating, uh, thank you for the impact that you've had on the guys that are sitting around you. Uh, thanks for setting the example. Uh, thanks for setting the example to a lot of these guys that are running around over here that are wanting to sit in those chairs one day. Um, it means a lot to all of us to know that they had um, leadership, that they had people with integrity and character that uh, are setting the example and leading the way for them. So um, we really are proud of y'all and glad that we get to celebrate you guys again. Um, and I'm really looking forward to number three next year.
Good afternoon. I'm Eric Burkett. I'm the headmaster at Pike, and what a great year for it to be my first year here. Um, this is, uh, I've watched this team, these guys overcame a lot of adversity this year. Uh, they started out strong, went in 10 ball games in a row, and then they hit a skid, and, um, and I challenged them to come out and take care of business and make an East, and they did that, and after that, um, they, they went on a great run, and it was incredible for me and my family uh, personally to be there and watch what they accomplished at Riverwalk, um, and I echo Stephanie's sentiments where she talks about your endurance, your heart, and uh, just the way you played the game with a lot of character. Um, I love each and every one of you, led by a great group of seniors. We're going to miss you next year, but you come back and watch us win it next year, too. Coach Ponder. How about a big hand for a winner right here? Thank you very much. Um, it is a huge honor to be back here again. You know, winning winning one state championship is hard. You know, winning two is incredibly hard. And, and you know, the third one's not going to be easy. Coach Adams, easy but we do plan on being back here again next year. Um, you know, we are incredibly blessed. Two championships. You know, I'm blessed as a baseball coach to have great players, you know, great players, great players of character that play the game the right way. You never have to question their effort. You don't question anything they do on the baseball field because they're going to give you everything every time they touch the field. Um, and, and we're blessed as a community. You know, here in Troy, Alabama, uh, at Pike Liberal Arts, um, there's never a time where we travel to a baseball game that we don't have the biggest crowd there. Um, we have the biggest crowd. We have the loudest crowd. And um, we drowned out the singers at, at Riverwalk. Um, our crowd was unbelievable. You know, our students were unbelievable. The support is just, it's unreal for this team. Um, you know, and it, it's not just, you know, the parents, the students, the administration. You know, everybody got behind this baseball team um, through the ups and the downs, and there were some downs. There were certainly some downs, but, you know, these kids continue to believe in each other. And, um, you know, when we went to Riverwalk, there was a lot of people who didn't believe in us, you know, winning those games that weren't wearing red, white, and blue, but you never would have questioned if you'd been in our dugout. You know, we could beat 13 to 1 in the first game, and you still would have never questioned it when we went out there and talked after the game was over. The kids were still upbeat. You know, they knew that we were going to win that series. There was no way that we were going to get beat. And, you know, that's just, that's, that is a direct result of our seniors, you know, what they've built in this program, and that's the culture. You know, it says that tradition never graduates, and we truly believe that at Pike. You know, we believe every single year that we're going to be there with a chance to win it, and that's the way it should be. Um, you know, for me personally, I'm really going to miss this group of seniors, very special group. Uh, we've been together now for five years. Um, you know, there have been times we, we've definitely had our ups and downs together. I have chewed them out many, 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 many times. But the great thing about this group is every time they got chewed out, they responded. They responded and they played harder and they got better and they worked every single day. And that's the one thing you can say about this group is they have worked for every single thing that they've got. Nothing's been easy. Nothing's been easy and we don't expect it to be easy. You know, we're, we're going to be a blue collar program and we're going to work for everything that we get every single year. And, um, and like I said, uh, we do expect to be back here again next year winning our third state championship in a row. Uh, once again, I want to thank uh, Mayor Reeves. I want to thank the city of Troy. I want to thank uh, Mr. Burkett. I want to thank Al Renfro, John Ramage. I want to thank our booster club, our parents, our players. Everybody that was involved this year played a huge role in us winning another one at Riverwalk this year. So thank you very much, and uh, we'll, look back to, we'll look forward to seeing you back here next year. Very outstanding. Um, great everyone is part here. of uh, a good job the team, uh, like the players, the coaches, for the kids. Uh, and the school are going to get a uh, certificate of commendation. And uh, we've got some uh, everybody getting a box of Wheaties. But I'm going to I'm going to read. Uh, we're going to uh, give a uh, we're going to give a uh, certificate of commendation to the school. Uh, and all of these uh, read the same. And I'm going to read this one. This is a Certificate of Commendation 2019 AISA 3A State Baseball Champions, Pike Liberal Arts School. 
whereas the 2019 Pike Louisville Arts baseball team won the Alabama Independent School Association Class 3A State Championship at Riverwalk Stadium in Montgomery, Alabama on May 9, 2019, whereas the Pike Louisville Arts baseball team finished the 2019 regular season with a record of 20-10 and 10 before advancing to the playoffs where they held a record of 6-1. and one. As a result of their Region 2 Area 1 title, the Patriots received a bye during the first round of the playoffs, and whereas the Patriots then swept both Fort Dale Academy Eagles in the second round of the playoffs and the Tuscaloosa Academy Knights in the third round of the playoffs, and whereas the Patriots were prohibitive underdogs in the championship series against the John T. Morgan Academy Senators, the Patriots saw their only loss in the playoffs in Game 1 of the championship series having fallen to the Senators 13-1 in three innings of play. The Patriots then shocked the baseball world with two come-from-behind victories of 7-6 and 13-8 to give the Senators their only two losses of the seasons and, and the Patriots their second consecutive state championship. Whereas the 2019 state title is the third baseball state title since 2012 and the second consecutive title. The state title was the culmination of a total team effort and saw the Pike Patriots win the Jonah McWhorter's tournament, the area title, and their second consecutive state championship. Whereas we are pleased to publicly commend players, Clay Barron, Trevor Barron, Tristan Carter, Max Copeland, Chandler Golden, Cody Hollis, Jade Sykes, Jaden Jordan, Drew Nelson, Javon Christian, Avery Ernsberger, Levi Sykes, Hunter Keenan, Scott Taylor Winfro, Davis Allen, J.D. Wilson, Holt Steve, Marks Copeland, Kay Sharico, and Tripp Spivey. And whereas we feel that a special commendation is due to head coach Alan Ponder, assistant coaches Chandler Lund, Ross Hickson, Hunter Mann, Peyton Egbert, Thomas Edwards, Will Austin, and trainer Corey Carr. Now, therefore, I, Jason A. Reeves, mayor of the city of Troy, and on behalf of the Troy City Council, do hereby present this certificate of commendation to the 2019 Alabama Independent School Association 3A state champions as an expression of the affection and admiration from all of our citizens. Amen. And we the are. Director, I'm going to give you this commendation for the school. And then as I call your name, if you'll come up, as I said, we have um, a commendation. We have a um, box of weedies, and we want every player to grab one of these yard signs, okay, and take it home. Clay Barron. Clay Barron. Brother, uh, twins, and uh, brother, what a ball player. Twins both of them are great ball players. Brother's got a bad arm right now and couldn't play as much as he wanted to. But they both have done the They both well. received scholarships from the Dixie Boys Baseball Association. Uh, Trevor Barron. Which was excellent. Trevor Barron, his brother, and boy, what a player. He started off as a second baseman and uh, what he played, but then had to, uh, to play the catch. Had to catch. And we did an excellent job catching for Pike Liberal Arts uh, uh, position. Tristan course. Carter. He's an outstanding second baseman. This is Tristan Carter. And, buddy, he was on a tear, especially the second game of the uh, game in Tuscaloosa, uh, where they, they won both those games. He did a great job. He uh, just actually uh, played a little bit. Max Copeland. Max Copeland, and you know him pretty well. I know you're proud of him. You're Pr proud of him. He's done a great job. He's led the team, I think, and they all stuck together. Built a, built a team there. He's always on fire. He was an outstanding football, basketball, and baseball uh, player at Pike. And, uh, Cody Hollis. But he always made big plays. He just enjoyed the most of the kids, the most of the way they did. You uh, see the young kids out there, they're right there to see him. Cody Hollis, boy, what a great center fielder. If it was hit out there, he was going to get it. He's a great uh, great player, and he had great speed on the base. He's just an outstanding athlete. Another Chandler one of those three-star athletes. And there's others looking at him right now. Chandler Golden, and he's the guy that might have been the secret to it all. He transferred from Rehoboth. He's the guy that came in and pitched the last game and pitched brilliantly. And also hit a home run. Uh, let's James Sykes. Knowing everybody really good, he right another great one. Jay Sykes played shortstop and pitched and one of the outstanding athletes, I think, ever to come out of fight. He was a great athlete. And loves the game. Parents follow him real well. Strong player. No question about it. And I want to 
I want to say something about this senior class. Um, that's how, that's all, that's seniors all on senior this class. baseball team. Um, I have watched these guys uh, play ball for a lot of years. I've got a son their age, and uh, I, I tell you, they um, they are special young men. And there might have been some people that were surprised that uh, uh, they won back to back after that 13 1 win, but I wasn't one of them. Because uh, uh, those, those boys are special. All of them are. But, uh, but you guys will, uh, uh, I want to thank y'all for all the uh, thrills y'all have given me over the last 13 years watching y'all play. So let's give a special hand for these seniors. And they're picking up uh, Wheaties boxes with their picture on it. Is that right? Uh, it looks that way. I haven't really seen it up close. And this is uh, Jordan. Jaden Jordan. Jaden Jordan, he's uh, he's senior next year, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Come along and done a great job. Not only Drew Nelson. Baseball, and here comes Drew Nelson, and Drew Nelson's been injured, did not play in the in the playoffs, but what a great pitcher he was on during the season. Left tenant pitcher with one of the best moves to first base of any kid I've ever seen. This kid's gonna Chibon be a star. Fisher. He's only a ninth grader and look at him. Look how big and strong he is. He uh plays a great deal of football and baseball as well. And has loved baseball for years. Is uh Christian. Christian is uh an unusual young man. Uh, hadn't played a lot, had that hey, done, and he came in and played and Here's Avery Arnsberger, a young pitcher, and he's uh, going to be a left-handed pitcher for him. And, uh, you know, hey, they just open up the doors and more players come in. Isn't that right? That's right. It's, uh, he'll be good next year. around. They'll be good next year, I believe. Levi Sykes. A lot Sykes. of talent out there in the same time. Here's the young man, Levi Sykes, a ten, only a 10th grader. Look how big and strong he is. He's going to be a great player for you before he leaves by. Uh, tenth grader, two more years to play. Can you imagine what it looked like in seven years? Hunter Keenan. Hunter Keenan, one of the young players on this team, and a lot of these kids played junior varsity baseball. That they did, and this one did that. And also played some senior years when, when uh, scores got pretty well. Scott out Taylor Renfro. And, and here's a good one, Scott Taylor Renfro. And I tell you what, that catch he made in left field in the championship game was one of the big turnarounds in the whole thing. It was. He uh, saved us a couple of times out there. The ball Davis was, Allen. Also made a couple of clutch putts. Uh, but it's Davis Allen. And man, what a good young player he is. He played right field. Got one of the best arms I think I've ever seen a young man have from the outfit. I hate to say this. J.D. Wilson. What I said about my arm, but he threw the ball always to right field. So he's very good. Exactly. One bounce. Who hit this one? Oh, God. Who is that? Steve. J.D. Wilson. And, of course, uh, I watched this young man grow up. Did Holt Steve. Might have been the difference in the whole tournament. He came back in the second game, left-handed pitcher, and uh, went the distance and was just outstanding in that in that ball game. And uh, Holt Steve is only, yeah, a, ju- only a junior. It's going to be a great pitcher next year. And, uh, that's Mark Scopeland. That's Max. Younger brother, he's two years younger than Max. Oh, is it? So this is one of your grandchildren. It is, and he normally plays catcher. He's played catcher in first place a little bit, but loves the sport. How great is he in? Case Sharico. Uh, he's in the tent. Sharico. Uh, Case. Good little ball player there, what too. Sharico. Case. Case. Okay, okay, sure. Trip Spivey. Yeah, trip Spivey. And uh, a lot of these are younger players that uh, will be the future of Bank Little Orange Baseball. Yeah, Trip does a great job right now with the, the other league and the players that uh, he's assigned to right now. And he does, has done a great job. And trip trip is uh, who? And now some, now yeah. uh, I'm not sure. I think he plays out. Chandler Lunn. Yeah, Chandler Lunn, and uh, I don't believe he's here today. I tell you what, having a Wheaties box with your pitcher on is really is Raw Dixon is one of the coaches. Hunter Mann. Hunter Mann. He's the coaches. Uh, Peyton Egbert. Peyton Egbert, uh, another one of the coaches. Oh, he's one of the players. Okay. 
height there, what did he uh, play? Junior high ball. Like, the middle, the middle. He's not one of the coaches. He's actually one of the players. Oh, one of the players? How old a guy is he? He looks like a player. Will Austin. And here's Will Austin, and this is uh, uh, a guy that's got quite a buddy. Austin is his dad is a great athlete in Troy for a long time, and then Butch Austin, his granddad, is a legend. You know, he's a legend out there. We had one made for the athletic director, Coach Gene Allen, come up and get one. Coach Gene Allen, this one. Hey, Coach, Coach. We'll, 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 get a look, we'll get a look at those sweetie boxes in a minute. Yeah. And here's one from the coach. And Gene Allen does a great job. Uh, and his head coach, coach, Allen Ponder. And his head coach, Allen Ponder. And buddy, I tell you, I don't know if there's, there's a fine young coach anywhere in the country than this guy right here. We got him a couple All right, of years ago. All right, I think our cheerleaders are going to come up. In about three years. He's really come along. Team and then we'll allow the, um, the seniors or, or represent any of you seniors can come up and speak after the cheerleaders do their uh, do their cheer. Back to the Charles. I mean the um, right little large Patriots. Yes, we are. Are you proud to be a Patriot? Yes, we are. Are you proud to be a Patriot? Yes. award-winning cheerleader. They won the state championship something like five or six years in a row. Is that right? That's up against the best cheerleaders in the state. Uh, so so no question about it. And all these kids want to be just like these kids one day. In fact, I wish I could get a picture of that guy right here. Bring him around here. Come in. That's if he wants to be a, a, a patriot one day. Okay, here's got some players up here to speak. This is Trevor Barron. Well, his dad is a veterinarian. Uh, um, with before I was okay. doing, I want to thank uh, the city of Troy. Troy I want to give uh, Mary Reeves a happy birthday. Um, everybody give them a round of applause. City of Troy and Boston. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, Troy, uh, Troy uh, what grade are you in? I also want to thank uh, the hey, band. Uh, y'all do a tremendous uh, well, job. I love hearing y'all cheerleaders. cheerleaders. Uh, y'all are amazing. Uh, I know y'all work hard. Um, on behalf of the players, parents, uh, grandparents, friends that are here, uh, we couldn't do it without y'all. Um, you know, we're at school from 8 to 3, and then from 3 to about 8, we're still at school. Uh, when we get home, y'all love us. Um, we're probably cranky. I know I am. Uh, it's tough catching eight bullpens, but uh, I love it, and I do it any day of the week. Uh, to this team, you know, we battle. We, um, we had our ups. We started out 10-0, and 0, and uh, we were world beers. We never thought we'd be beat, but we did get beat. And uh, that was the best thing for us. Um, we overcame that adversity. We lost to some teams we shouldn't ever lose to, um, but that was made us better. And headed into the playoffs, uh, we knew record didn't matter. Uh, rankings didn't matter. I don't even think we were ranked uh, in the top five. We were ranked number 10 heading into the playoffs. And we, we knew that didn't mean anything. In Fort Dale, we uh, took care of them, went and played TA, and um, had them to play Morgan. That's who we wanted all year. We heard all this stuff about them and how great they were, but we wasn't scared. Um, now, on paper, it might have been an upset, but in our minds and on the practice field and on the field, it wasn't an upset. Um, they had great players, but we had a great team. Um, this group of seniors, I love each and every one of you guys. Um, you know, this whole team, we battled through injuries all year. We had guys... Max uh, rushed his hand back from injury to get back to play. Uh, Cody was hurt. Uh, Javon got hurt. Um, Holt was recovering from his injury, too. Uh, Chandler came to us. Um, Chandler, can't say more about him. He's a great person. Most valuable uh, player in the tournament. Um, oh, yeah, he's the MVP. Uh, after that game, I welcomed him to the MVP club. It's an amazing club to be a part of. Chandler. Um, and next year, guys, uh, you know, Pike's a great place. Mr. Burkett does a fantastic job at Pike. Uh, you know, you're going to be happy at Pike if anybody comes to Pike. Uh, it's a great Christian atmosphere. 
Um, Coach Ponder, all the coaches, um, Coach Ponder, you have changed my life in baseball. Um, you know, I came uh, from a place where baseball wouldn't that follow, but here at Pike, it's, uh, it's top. And uh, Coach Ponder taught me a lot about baseball, about being a great person above all. And uh, this team was truly a team. Um, I believe that's all I have to say. Does anybody else have anything to say, seniors, underclassmen? All right, I'm happy to pipe live, uh, state champions. Uh, thank you guys, and go pipe. All right, moving on. What's your name? Coggin. And uh, uh, how old are you? Say five. You want to be a patriot one I'm, day? Yes, sir. Well, I don't think you can say anything. You have a brother who plays on the team. Sir? What is your last name? Good job, Brown. Brown. Um, we're going we're gonna to close it out. I think the, uh, uh, the, the band is going to thank you so much. Um, I think we're going to do the fight song. And, um, but, uh, but to all, everyone that came out today, to all the, the, the parents, the family members, uh, the team, the school, uh, everybody, uh, to all our, Mr. Burkett, to, to all of my, um, all the folks with the city of Troy that worked hard to, to, to put all this together. Um, I appreciate uh, them so much uh, to the Troy City Council that allows us to uh, to do all these things. I see uh, uh, Council President Paramore is here. Um, I, I appreciate him being here. But we, it, um, you know, we love to do these kind of things. And uh, and and thank you guys for um, you know playing great ball, but but more importantly being being great young men. And uh, so we'll uh, we'll do the fight song and the cheer, and then we'll wrap it up. Pike Liberal Arts Patriots are champions again for the second consecutive year. Pike Liberal Arts that defended its crown, winning over Morgan High School of Selma and winning their second consecutive state championship. The Patriots are championships one more time. Now the hardworking Patriots will look toward three in a row next year. Second game against Tuscaloosa, I thought you were on fire as much as anybody out there. Yes, sir. I was uh, doing pretty good. What's your plans now? Uh, my plans are going to Southern Union. Well, that's great, man. Yeah. I tell you what, you'll be a good one, buddy. And who are your right. parents? Let's let uh, everybody know that. Byron Carter and Ashley Shirley. Okay, and I know you're proud of them. Yes, They're sir. proud of you. Come on in here real quick. Come on in here. Come in here, man. Listen, we got to do something about that bill, though, don't we? That Flat Bill? Oh, I tried to bend it every day. Uh, Cody Hollis. Cody, you're one of the best athletes that ever come out of Pike Liberal Arts. Not, not only as a, um, a baseball player, but also a football player and an a outstanding uh, uh, baseball player. And, of course, what's your plan? Um, I'm going to Huntington to play baseball. That's a good program, real good program. Great yes, place to eat at Martin's Restaurant up there, too. Oh, yes, sir. And, of course, uh, um, uh, you, you were outstanding, and uh, we appreciate you very much. Tell them who your parents are. Uh, my parents are Jeff and Kim Hollis. All right, good. Come on in here. Come on in here. Get in here. Come here, man. Ladies and gentlemen, one of the top athletes at Pike Liberal Arts School, and uh, I don't know what they're trying to do, but uh, we're, you're, you're disturbing the, everything. Okay, and they tell me your name. Jay Sykes. Jay, I tell you, I think you're one of the best players that ever play at, at Pike. And, and if you looked at every sport, you were outstanding in every sport. Yes, sir. And you had a great career. I appreciate it. Thank you. It means a lot. Of course, in this championship game, I thought you were one of the leaders on the team, and you did a great job. What are your future? Uh, I'm planning on going to play Enterprise State, playing baseball. You're wonderful. Y'all yes, going to be going up against each other, aren't you? Uh, yes, sir. All right, come in here. Yes, come right in here. Come okay, here, big guy. Tell him your name. Uh, Levi Sykes. Levi Sykes, and only a 10th grader. I don't know what this guy's trying to do, but uh, they claim he can't see us. Uh, 
All right, here we go. We'll be lucky to have anybody to, to interview. <laughs> Tell us about you now. You, you played uh, third base most of the time, is that right? Yes, sir. Third base and I DH'd. Yeah, and of course, uh, tell us who your parents are. Uh, Josh and Wendy Sykes, same I as know they, I know they all. I know and that's your brother, and I know you want to be just like him, don't you? No, I'll be a little different. You'll uh, be big and strong, I know that. You're yeah. going to hit those weights, aren't you? Yes, sir. Good yes, luck sir. to you. Sure. Thank you. Come in here, guys. Oh, boy, here's a great one. <laughs> your name? Uh, Clay Barron. Clay Barron, of course, uh, the twins, one of the twins. Uh, yes, sir. Trevor, and uh, what are your plans that you get through? I'm going to Troy uh, and get a degree in criminal justice. Max, come here. You go, we'll go, we'll let, let some good luck to you, buddy. Thank Tell you, thank you. Uh, Steve and Missy Barron. All right, come here, Max. Come here, Max. Let me see that uh, uh, that Tweety's box. What does it have on it? Uh, it's just a picture of the team after the state championship. Yeah, boy, that's something to keep forever. Is that right? That's right. That's right. Max Copeland, ladies and gentlemen, one of the outstanding athletes to ever come out of Pike. <laughs> what do you think about that? Uh, I don't know if I'd say that. You just... were good, buddy. And, of course, uh, you played first base. You always seem like you made things happen. <laughs> I try to, you know, just always in a good situation. Man. Tell them who your parents are. Uh, Chad and Donna Copeland. I know. What are your future? Uh, I'm, I'm playing football at Troy next Wonderful. year. Wonderful. So, yeah. Yes, sir. I'm, pr I'm proud of you, buddy. Yes, sir. Good Thank luck you. to you. Thank you. Come in here real quick. Come in here, brother. Tell him your name. Holt Steed. Holt Steed. Left-handed Holt Steed. And Holt, I thought, your second, the, the game you pitched at Tuscaloosa, and then you came came back the next week and pitched the second game of the, uh, to win the championship or, or for us to get back in the championship pitch. You, you pitched brilliantly. Yes, sir. Who taught you how to pitch? Uh, just over time, I've learned. My dad's worked with me a long time, and... Well, I tell you what, he's done a great job. Now, you are a junior. You'll be back. Yes, sir. I'll you know, be you back. you got a chance year. to be one of the best pitchers that ever come out of these parts, and, 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 and there's been some good ones. I hope so. Well, we wish you the best luck. And tell us who your parents are. Uh, Kendra and Cliff Steve. I know they're proud of you. Yes, sir. Come in here real quick. Come in here, man. How you doing? Good to see you. How about you? I'm Scott Taylor Renfro. Scott Taylor Renfro. I believe it might have been your your uh, catch in the outfield. It might have turned everything around because that ball gets by. They run forever. <laughs> Yes, sir. And uh, what did you think about that? Did, did you think he had a shot at it? I mean, um, it was a diving catch and a big catch in the game. Well, I was just, I just kind of let instincts take over and do whatever I do what I've learned from what Coach Ponder taught me. And yeah, well, I tell you what, you did a great job. You did a great job hitting the ball and bunting the ball. You did a great job. You, yes, sir. You, you really had a, a lot, a lot of impact. Yes, Good sir. Luck. Come on in here, guys. Come on in here. Your name? Chandler Golden. Chandler Golden. Chandler, I tell you what. Hey, it was no question that you would be much most valuable player. The, your performance on the mound uh, in the third deciding game was just pure brilliant. I mean, it's an indescribable feeling, especially the atmosphere of being at Riverwalk for the first time for Pike history and uh, being able to be the MVP and uh, just having a great team behind me. Now you came out of uh, Rehoboth, a good program at Rehoboth, and you transferred to Pike. Uh, uh, what difference was it? Not much, was it? It wasn't too big of a difference, uh, but... I think the biggest change was the atmosphere, and um, yeah, they, they get behind the team here, don't they? Oh yes, sir. More crowd, right. or a better crowd than we had at Rogan. Yeah. What here? Where are your plans? Uh, right now, I'm expecting to attend Southern Union at the end of the summer. Play and ball at Southern Union. Yes, sir. Right? Yes, sir. We we'll wish you a, a lot of luck. Don't don't worry about shaking my hand. Okay. But listen, who are your parents, real quick? Uh, Dana and Brent Golden. I know they're proud of you. Come on in here, guys. Your name? Mark Copeland. All right, Mark, you're one of the young Copeland boys. You're Max's younger brother. Yes, right? sir. All right, and tell us who your parents are. Chad and Donna Copeland. Okay, you go oh, Chad. Your dad was a good athlete, too. What position uh, do you play? First base and kick. Well, uh, so you're ready to get, come back and win another one. Is that right? Yes, sir. Good luck to you. Come on in here. Come in here, brother. <laughs> I tell you, one of the outstanding players in the tournament was this young man here. Tell me your yes, name. Yes, sir. Davis Allen. Tell them who your parents are. My parents are Wes and Kay Allen. I thought you had a great tournament, especially the the, latter, the last two. Yes, you, sir. I did not realize what an arm you had. And I, I said, he reminded me of Rocky Calavito, and everybody said, who is Rocky Calavito? Well, he was a great uh, Detroit right fielder and Cleveland Indian yes, right sir. fielder. They used to throw strikes from right field to third base. You did that same thing. Where'd you get that, that kind of arm, man? I don't know. I just Are you going to pitch me. next year? Are you going to pitch? I don't know. I'm not trying. That try. kind of arm, you ought to. You're, I'm you're not probably throwing about 90 miles an hour and don't know it. You know that? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, well, uh, are you excited about it next year? Yes, sir. I'm excited. you make it three in a row? I'm going to play football first, though, yes, don't sir. you? Yes, sir. Good luck to you, David. Sir, thank you.
Come on here, man. This guy right here hit a home run, ladies and gentlemen, uh, in the uh, uh, the second game in Tuscaloosa that put it on ice. Tell me about that. You were, you were pinch hitting. Tell us about it. Uh, no, you weren't. You played the, the, the yeah, whole I game. Yeah. Uh, I just threw my hands to the baseball and it went over. It, it was a huge home run, two-run homer that sort of uh, solidified that victory. Uh, have you had a good good time here at Pike since yes, you've been sir. here? I really have. Now, you're a football player, too, is that right? No, you don't play, you don't play, play basketball? I might this year, though. I might this year. Oh, well, uh, yeah, go play a wide receiver, man. Yeah. You'll be a good one. Good luck to you, my friend. Thank Who are your parents? Tanya and Eric Ernstberger. I know they're uh, uh, excited about you. Yes, good sir. Luck. Come on in here, guys. And these are outstanding players from Pike Little Arts, ladies and gentlemen. We're able to interview every one of them. Your name? I'm, uh, I'm Avery Ernstberger. And Avery, buddy, you're a left handed pitcher, too, aren't you? Oh, no, sir. You're right handed? Yes, sir, I am. But you're a pitcher, though, is that right? Uh, you used I'm, to be. I, I pitch in the bullpens, but like, not in the games. Yeah, what position do you play? I play uh, first base and bench. And tell, <laughs> tell us who your parents are. Uh, Deanna Walker and Eric Ernstberger. I know they're proud of you. Good luck. Come on in here, guys. Come on in here. Now, here he is. He is. Uh, tell me your name. Drew Nelson. Drew Nelson. This young man was unable to play in the playoffs is that right yes sir and uh show us what you broke i broke my thumb broke your thumb and you that means you couldn't throw that change up Good. that means you couldn't pick people off base no. one of the best moves at first base yes, who taught you that um coach ponder did he was pretty good well, at i it, tell you sir. what uh you have been an outstanding player, and of course next year you'll be a star player. Yes, now you're a ninth grader this year. Yes, sir. You play football, and you play ba basketball, and you play baseball, yes, sir. and you're good at every one of them. Yes, sir. Thank you. Of course, your daddy is a pretty good coach, too, David Nelson. Tell us who your parents are. David Nelson and Candace Nelson. And you got a little brother coming out. It's going to be good, too, isn't it? Yes, sir. You're going to teach him that change up? I'll try. One of the best I've seen. Now, you, to me, you're getting bigger and stronger. You're going to be yes, a sir. big, I think it'll be big like your daddy. Thank you. Good luck to you, my friend. Thank what are you going to do this summer? Um, play a little ball. Good luck to you. Come on in here. Come in here, man. There you go. Your name? Hunter Keenan. And uh, what position do you play? Second base. All right, now, who are your parents? Will and Amanda Keenan. And uh, uh, what grade are you in? Uh, tenth grade. You ready to get going? Yes, sir. And uh, you, you look forward to next year? Yes, sir. What position do you play? Uh, second base. Good luck to you. Thank you. Come in here, guys. Come in here. Come in here, brother. Good to see you, man. Your name? Jaden Jordan. Jaden Jordan. And you're a good-looking athlete, Jaden. What position? Uh, shortstop. And what grade are you in? I'm going in the 10th. Oh, going in the 10th. So you got a good future. Do you play other sports, too? I play played basketball and yeah. play football. Okay. And, of course, who are your parents? Uh, James and Morgan Jordan. I know they're proud of you, buddy. Right. Good luck to you in the future. Come right, right in here. You, uh, you better not eat that Wheaties. So <laughs> you better keep that Wheaties in the box, man. Don't I might eat them. them. I'm out of uh, Case Sharika. Well, I tell you what, you what grade are you in, Case? I'm going in the 10th. And who are your parents? Mike and Jackie Sharika. I know they're proud of you, my friend. And, of course, what position do you play? First base. You ready to get going, then? Of course, you got how many more years? Three more years. Good luck to you, my friend. We're going to win three more state championships? Yes, sir. Come on in here. Good to see you, my friend. Your name? J.D. Wilson. J.D. Wilson and uh, Daniel Wilson's boy. Yes, sir. Yes, you know, sir. your daddy grew up right up the street from you. You know that, don't Yes, sir. You? And I've loved him and loved that family. Yes, sir. <laughs> because uh, you remind me so much. Can you run like him? No, sir. I'm, no, I cannot run what like him. What position do you run? Third base. Third base. Third. And, of course, what grade are you in? Uh, going into 11th grade. And I, now tell us who your parents are. Daniel Wilson and Mackenzie Wilson. I know you're proud. Good yes, sir. Yes, sir. They're proud of you. Come on right here. Come in here, man. Your name? Uh, Chip Snyder. And uh, what, what position, Chip? I'm a pitcher. And what grade are you in? Tenth. You, uh, are you right-handed or left-handed? I'm right-handed. Uh, can you throw hard? Uh, Have yeah. you learned that good change-up, Coach Ponder teaches? Uh, splitter. All right, well, that's great, man. And you, and you got how many more years? Uh, got three. All right, who are your parents? Uh, Jerry and Melissa Spidey. Well, listen, wish you a lot of luck. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you. We're looking with Coach Ponder. Uh, we can catch him. We can catch Coach Ponder. Coach Ponder, please. Please let me talk to you. Come on here, my friend. No problem. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, come in here. Absolutely. One of the best young baseball coaches in America right now. Coach, you need to work out, though. <laughs> I do, man. I haven't been able to work out in a while. Need work, you need to work on your curls. And your, <laughs> but I tell you what, you're, you're a good-looking coach. Well, I appreciate that. strong coach. Thank you very much. I, Thank I, you. Do you think you might scare these kids sometimes? Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> That's what you want to do. That's why I work out all the time. I want to scare them. Let, 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 let me ask this right off the bat. Who are your parents? Uh, Rex and Wanda Ponder. You know, I met them. Did you know that? I did know that. They told me. <laughs> and had a long walk after the ball game and loved it. And, and your dad and your mother, I think, are the reason you're as good as you are today. I, I totally agree. They're wonderful people. Of course, you grew up in the Auburn, Oklahoma area. Yes, I did. 
and uh, played uh, uh, baseball at Lee Scott, one of your big rivals. Correct. And uh, so y'all know that these players are not going to be afraid of Lee Scott, especially after you. No, uh, no, absolutely not. Absolutely not. Coach, uh, and again, uh, you're in the Hall of Fame of all private schools in the country. I thought that was a huge honor. Also, you're in the Hall of Fame at UA, uh, Auburn Montgomery. How did the guy get in two Hall of Fames at such a young age? You're not even 30 years old, are you? Yeah, I'm 35. I'm 35, 35 but I'm, I'm very blessed. I'm very blessed. I've been very fortunate in my career as a player and a coach, and I've had great kids, great teammates, you know, great mentors. I mean, I've just, I've been very blessed in my upbringing. So, uh, these kids uh, at Pike, I mean, you taught them a lot, but they're well-schooled uh, you know, this recreation program and these parents, uh, they're, they're knowledgeable baseball people, aren't they? That's right. You know, our rec program right here does a great job of, of getting these kids ready with the fundamentals. And, uh, you know, Will Austin does a great job with our JV team. Um, and their their parents do a great job. These kids are tough. You know, they're, they're, they're brought up the right way, and it makes it a lot easier for me. Does, does Will's daddy come over much? Uh, he makes up with a lot of the JV games. Yes, he does. I, lo I love I love Coach Bush. Coach, Coach Bush is a great one. Coach, uh, of course, you, know, you lost the first game. A, a big series against uh, uh, Tuscaloosa, and I thought uh, uh, the, your left-handed pitcher uh, came through for you uh, in that series. And, and then you got the home run from uh, uh, your know, late innings from uh, That's right. Christian. And then, um, of course, uh, you went ahead and won that, that, and then you come and you play at Riverwalk against a team that's 30-0, and 0, uh, what did you tell your players? Well, you know, you just got to explain to your kids that uh, there's going to be some adversity. There's going to be, uh, you know, some things, a lot of things not go our way in those games. You just got to tell them to, to, to play through it. And, um, you know, our kids did a great job of that. We faced a lot of adversity in that series, but um, each time we faced it, we bounced back and uh, and made a run and then were able to put some pressure on Morgan. And uh, at, the end of the, at the end of the day, it ended up being the difference in the series. All right, Coach, when you went to the three-run rule, that's about as embarrassing as you can get, uh, being down 13-1. to and you go to the uh, the uh, the three uh, three inning rule, and you you get, you get your players down that front uh, first base base line. What do you tell them? Uh, well, we just you know it's, you want to kind of let make light of the situation because you've got two more games to play. So we told them that uh, if you're looking for any positives, the game lasted 40 minutes, and uh, we shouldn't be tired. We should still have all our energy saved and uh, be ready to go yeah. for game two. And, and uh, that was, that was about it. They were well coached. Uh, the team from Morgan, they've won 30, 31 games now. And, of course, you come back in the uh, – in, in the second game, and you get some good pitching from that left-hander again. Oh, uh, he's done it for us all year long. You know, Holt's been a bulldog. Holt's done a. Uh, that's right, Holstein. I mean, he's he's done it for us all year long. He's thrown he's thrown a lot of big games for us, and he's competed in every single one of them. So, we expected when he got on the mound, uh, we expected a competitive performance. That's exactly what we got, and we were able to score enough runs to win the game. And coach, uh, probably the the guy that got the most valuable player deserved it so well. But a lot a lot of most valuable players in that uh, game pre fight, but. You had to hand it to Chandler Golden. What a performance he, he, he gave you uh, as a pitcher in the third game. That's right. You know, Chandler uh, Chandler battled. He battled the entire game. You know, there were there were a lot of times in that game where it would have been easy just to, uh, I won't say quit, but to, uh, you know, just, uh, I'll say, well, I don't, you know, it would have been very easy for him just sure. to just to stop. I mean, you know, getting down, getting down a couple of runs and giving up some gap shots and doing. But Chandler battled. He battled the entire game. Got some big hits for us. And not only that, but he sure continued did. to compete on the mound. You know, he finished the game. You know, he finished the game. I think with 120 pitches, which was the last pitch he could throw. And it, it was just a great performance. It was a it was a it was the kind of performance that uh, you don't see very often these days in high school baseball. I'll tell you something about your team, coach. That really they were so calm and they they were so confident, but they were so calm they never rattle, especially your pitchers. I, I, I thought they were outstanding, and I know you were with the pitchers. Uh, we do. You know, we, we work really hard with our team on staying composed no matter what the situation. You know, they've been there. Uh, this group of seniors has been there three years in a row. Um, you know, we, we won it one year. We lost it one year. So, I mean, they knew they knew what it's like on both sides of the spectrum. So, that makes it a lot easier for them to get the other kids who haven't been there to relax. And I'll tell you one other thing, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, one of the best pitchers in the state of Alabama was sitting on the bench with a broken uh, thumb. Tell us about him. Well, you know, Drew. Drew's a great, a great pitcher, a great competitor. You know, does really well, and you know, plays a great left field, can swing the bat. So, I mean, losing him was was big. But um, you know, we, we had to have somebody step up, and uh, you know, Javon Christian and also Scott Taylor Renfro did a great job for us in left field. We had uh, we had a couple of arms step up and do some big things for us. So, you know, when a man goes down, you just got to have a man yeah. step up. And I thought, I thought that, that that catch that Renfro made in right field was huge because that ball was going to roll all the way to the. Uh, to the wall. It was one other player in that game that scared me to death. Was uh, I think it was uh, uh, Golden that hit a ball down the left field line, 
and it, instead of staying in the corner, it jumped into the stands, and it, instead of getting bringing two more runs around, you had to settle for the automatic uh, double. Well, you know, that's the tough part about playing. You know, you want to, you love playing in a minor league stadium, but also it, it's tough because, uh, you know, the minor league stadium also has, you know, stands all the way around. So when you have stands all the way around, you're always going to have a, yeah. the possibility of a ball bouncing up in the stands. And that just yeah. happened. That ball did not roll our way. And, uh, you know, we were very lucky to be able to overcome that. The ball was hit very hard. Coach, I know you've had opportunities uh, to go places and, you uh, uh, after this performance, uh, everybody in the world, the baseball world, is talking about you. Uh, are you happy here, Pike? Absolutely. I love Pike. I love Troy. I love my kids. I love everything about it. I wouldn't. I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. Well, I, I, I know. I know your family, and uh, boy, I tell you, we are just so proud of your efforts and bringing baseball to Pike Liberal Arts like you did. And uh, uh, tell us about next year. You got a lot of good guys coming back. Uh, you know, we're losing a lot, but, um, you know, like I said up there, tradition never graduates. You know, we've got a bunch of young kids who are very excited about getting their opportunity to step up and have a chance to play. So, you know, as long as we continue to have kids that are hungry each year, the, uh, we should have an opportunity yeah. to be back every year. I'll tell you something you will have is two of the best left-handed pitchers in the state of Alabama. That's right. That makes things easier. That's right. That makes things easier. right Absolutely. fielder that you need to also uh, see if he can pitch. That's right. Because That's right. He's got one of the best arms to right field, from right field to third base, as anybody I've seen. Yes, he does. Yes, he and does. talk about Allen. That's Curtis right. Allen. Well, Coach, again, thanks so much for Thank giving you. us your time. Uh, and, uh, and, of course, again, congratulations Thank you very much. to your whole team. And, Coach, uh, you're my hero. I appreciate it. Thank, Thank you very much, Coach Mike. Ponder. Thanks for having me. Ladies and gentlemen, the Pike Liberal Arts and Coach Allen Ponder uh, wins his second consecutive state baseball championship in the big schools of the Alabama Independent School Association, Class 3A. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, it's been a great afternoon supporting and uh, giving uh, all the glory to this fine young baseball team from Pike Liberal Arts, coached by Coach Allen Ponder. Hope you've enjoyed our telecast from downtown Troy, and we'll see you very soon. We're going now to the Tip Collie Awards, and a lot of these young people will be candidates for that great award. Have a good one. Thank you. 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 Thank you.